We have two very special guests today from Elaine Construction, Jackie and Caroline. We are going to talk to them about a woman-owned construction company which recently completed a WINGS, a special place where working for co-working for women and women-owned businesses and entrepreneurs. And I visited that site, what an amazing job they did in building it. So, Jackie, welcome to our studio. Thank you so much. Caroline, welcome. Thank you. And thank you very much for your time. So, first I want to start with you, Jackie, sure. about Elaine Construction. It is, there are not many women-owned construction companies. And so, let's start there. And sure. how it is working for a women-owned construction company and working with a women team in this wing project in Boston. Absolutely. Well, you're right. There are very, very few um, female-owned commercial construction companies like Elaine Construction. Um, and it's amazing to have the opportunity to work with Lisa Wexler and her father, Ken, um, who still serves on the board for Elaine Construction. Um, it's one of the reasons I chose to come um, to Elaine Construction was to have the opportunity to get to work. So how long you have been with Elaine? Nearly eight years. Eight years, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I get to work with Lisa mm -hmm. um, and, you know, work to build a team um, that includes lots more women mm -hmm. than are typical in other construction companies. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, I think Elaine has done an absolutely wonderful job, you know, and also their projects are very exciting. And some of the projects uh, they have worked with, you know, again, you know, we talk about Caroline to you about the, the wing project where all the women from all different aspects are involved there. So it's pretty amazing. So we do roughly 50% um, of our work in the academic arena for higher education, mm -hmm. and the other half um, is in corporate tenant interior fitouts, like the wing project. Mm -hmm. Um, more and more we're having opportunities which are pretty exciting to work for um, women entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that have launched businesses like The Wing. Um, and that was not true even a decade ago. So Absolutely. Yeah. This, is a, this is a pretty exciting time for us um, to be able to assemble um, an all-women team um, on the construction side um, to work on The Wing project is, is it's really a dream come true for me. Sure, you know, sure. um, I've been in the industry almost two decades now, um, and more often than not, I'm the only woman in the room. So, sure, sure. It, it feels good to dominate. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, and I was telling you off the camera that when I was working at the Boston Business Journal almost 20 years ago, the simple rule in the commercial real estate industry was that you had to be white, male, from Boston College. <laughs> That's all you needed, and you were a superstar in common sense state. Now things have changed, and I'm really glad that uh, you know the women have really stepped in and doing a fantastic job. Right. Now, and that now you can be diverse, smart, and motivated. Uh, absolutely. And you can be successful uh, in this industry. It has a lot to offer. Ab people. Absolutely. And you know, you know, I mean, I remember 20 years ago there were some really great women architects. They were mm -hmm. there, but in construction industry, it was almost impossible to find anyone. So I know Elaine has been really cutting edge of this uh, trend here. So now I'm going to switch to you, sure. to Garana and talk a little bit about you work on the wing project in Boston. I did. I worked on the wing. I was the uh, project manager for mm. the project. Um, I also came to Elaine because uh, I was really excited about the opportunity to work for a firm with a woman owner. And um, working with Lisa and Jackie and the rest of the, the women there yeah. has been um, really wonderful. Uh, the team at the wing, I was the project manager, like I said. Um, Rupi was our estimator, so mm -hmm. we had a, a female estimator. Um, Maria was our laborer on site. We had a laborer on site who was a woman, and then our um, assistant project manager was Natalie. So, um, And Lisa was our project executive, so sure. she, she ran that role. So. And also the owner was a woman who owned yes. the business. Yes. And the whole place is for women own businesses or networking. Right? Exactly. So that aligns very well with our um, mission as a firm. And um, just the opportunity, this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity that we would build a place for women um, that is owned by women and the women on the construction team were, did this. So yeah. Actually, I took a site a few days before. That's where I met both of you the first mm -hmm. time. A couple of days before it officially opened. Yeah. 
and it was totally mind boggling in the view and every yeah. all the little details was absolutely fantastic so if you can talk a little bit about uh, you know the the construction part of different uh, styles and elements in in the way sure i mean it was a very high end um, finish and they have a, a clear aesthetic that is across all of their spaces so we worked very hard to meet that um, and it was a short timeline on a project as usual but um, right so there specifically were parts of this project that were designed for women um, the pump room is one of them that a lot of spaces now we see mother's rooms but they're kind of an afterthought and they're really just there to meet a requirement this is probably the most elaborate and nicest pump room I've ever seen and it really was designed um, with women in mind and with that intent in mind, which is amazing. There's also a beauty room, um, which um, you're able to go in, have a space to get yourself ready for a meeting or an event or whatever you're going to. Uh, again, you know, sometimes we all, uh, while we're on the run, we end up in a bathroom somewhere trying to make ourselves look presentable, but this is a real space to um, take the time and have a little space. So, so now I want to bring you in about the beauty room. Beauty room. Oh, I love them. <laughs> no, no, this is, I had never come across this uh, beauty room in our office. Mm -hmm. So tell us about the idea behind that. So, you know, the founders um, were busy young women um, living in New York City, and they found themselves crossing town all day long in, in, into the evening um, with really no place to touch down. And so, um, they tell a funny story about um, trying to make a quick change in a restroom in a Starbucks and having their foot fall on the ground and going, <laughs> how is this? This is so disrespectful. Isn't there a better way? And out of this came the concept of the wing, a place where women could go, um, make their phone calls, email, freshen up. There are showers there. Um, there are straight irons, blow dryers, mm -hmm. and all these things are there. Yeah. They're all there, yeah. and they've partnered with companies like Chanel and Glittier um, to provide product for the members. It's it's yeah. a pretty amazing and special place, and you can also book a blowout <laughs> if you'd mm -hmm. like yeah. to. So I think that it also really resonates with us as women in construction who go to a construction site have to dress for that site and then oftentimes have to go to an interview or a meeting or an event after. So, so now in Boston, is that not the only beauty room in the office? Uh, there are some more like that. <laughs> I, I don't think don't so. I have a lot of other things, yeah. So, no. that's, so that's the first one there. Yeah. Okay. And if they had it, it sure doesn't look like the like one that. at the wing. I can doesn't tell you doesn't have that. the views from the sure, space yeah, the either. Absolutely mind-boggling from, yeah. from, from, from there. So now, Caroline, so we have, um, we talked about pump room, we talked about the beauty room, mm -hmm. what else? Well, just there's a beautiful quiet room that we added to the space. Um, actually, that was one of the challenges of getting this project done on time is they realized that they really were missing um, an element that a lot of women would be looking for, which is a space that's quiet enough to work in, be separate from some of the activities going on in the room. And so they added that room as well, which is really a beautiful space and has one of the best views in the whole, hmm. the whole space. So now also uh, we were told that uh, initially the project was a bit smaller and you had a schedule to for completion and etc. And later on more space was added. The space was changed and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, the program was definitely changed and added to. So that was part of the big challenge of getting this done on time. And some of it was as usual in construction projects, uh, mm. changed very late in the game. So mm. we, we really wanted to com meet the committed date. And um, in fact, we pulled it forward a little bit, what they wanted to meet. So okay. So now after uh, Wing has opened, have you revisited the place? Yes. Okay. You, you said you were there. I'm a member. Okay. Oh, right. Yes. So uh, I was just there this morning, in fact. And it is lively. They had a morning program. They bring in a lot of special speakers. Um, they connect um, other women um, through their, you know, uh, customized app, um, and that's at all of their locations across the country. So if you're looking for an accountability partner, or you're looking for resources to grow your business or your brand, um, they're happy to make those connections on, on your behalf. So it's a really collegial environment, and there, it, it's a wonderful resource for women looking to grow their business mm -hmm. or just have a 
quiet place where they can touch down um, during their busy work day um, and freshen up. And it's it's one of the most aesthetically beautiful places. Absolutely, I've absolutely. Had. So, how did uh, Wing find uh, Elian Construction for this project? Oh, that's an excellent question. So, as I might have <laughs> mentioned um, in some of our earlier conversations yeah. with Andra, we actually work for a lot of women-owned businesses, and there was a company um, called Soul Cycle, mm -hmm. which you may have heard of. We've built five of their locations in the Boston mm -hmm. area. Um, through the women there, they connected us to the folks at the wing. Okay. Uh, they said, we worked with an amazing um, female builder in Elaine Construction, and we recommend that you work with them too, and that's how we got connected. Right. And how how was the timeline? You know, how long it took to really the day you were contacted? Well, we make things happen instantly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good to know. No, it takes it takes about six months, I would say. Probably then, yeah. But six months is still is not that yeah. long. It's it's a very quick, you know, fast track project. That's true. It is, and yeah. the construction period was shorter than that. It was more about about four months, I think. So. From the time we connected with them till end product was about six months. They uh, create a lot of custom furniture for the space, mm -hmm. which Caroline can tell you a little bit more about. Uh, they do. So um, their interior designer is amazing, mm -hmm. but the furniture is um, designed actually to fit a woman's body, and so it's um, uh, the. So every furniture there is. Design with their, that. Yeah. Yes, it's the, it's through their designer and is custom built, and so the height um, in relation to the table and to the floor is built more for uh, the average size of a woman rather than a man. So um, oftentimes, when I'm sitting in chairs, my feet might not touch the ground, but <laughs> they've, yeah. they've taken that into account. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I also remember when I was there, somebody mentioned. Uh, that also they are very sensitive about the temperature of the office mm -hmm. because the women like a different temperature. And That's the, exactly right. That's right? true. <laughs> so, um, and even in our office, we're often cold because uh, it seems mm -hmm. that there's maybe a difference in comfort level for sure. men and women, and so they um, are keeping the temperature at a different uh, or temperature more comfortable for women. They also have um, strategically placed bins of uh, mm -hmm. uh, blankets around so that people can feel comfortable all the time. Yeah. So now, uh, Jackie, this is for you. After camera, you were telling me that now you have another project for Grub or some organization oh. that's also. So if you can just talk about that. Sure. So uh, it's called Grub Street, mm -hmm. and it's a nonprofit organization um, founded by a woman. And the intent is to teach all ages um, how to write fiction. Hmm. It's a really amazing program, and so they're actually. I'm going to build um, quite a large space. It's about 15,000 feet yeah. um, in the seaport at 50 Liberty Drive. Mm -hmm. And there will be a performance space for poetry readings and dance in addition to um, classroom space. And um, How many square feet roughly? It's 15,000. 15, That's 15, a good size. It's yeah. a good size yeah. space. It's a, it's a really um, ambitious mission. And... Um, and they've been running it out of a, a quite a small space, but with much success. And so they're they're ready to take it to a new. So way. when the construction starts, the other has already started. It has not started yeah. yet. Okay. Um, okay. But Caroline will be the senior project manager. <laughs> now she has experience with a wing, like you know, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Right. Uh, the, yeah. But this the board of this um, nonprofit is is largely women also, which is. Yeah. Unusual, but maybe not as unusual anymore. Anymore, yeah, more exactly, more. absolutely. It's great. Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah, there are about a dozen women and and one man on the board, and then they have a council made up of largely women and a, a few men as well. Mm -hmm. So, so now earlier you you mentioned that you have been uh, longer time in construction industry, and uh, one of the reasons you came to Elena was also that you had this uh, woman-owned business in your mind. How the role of women has changed, especially in the construction industry, which is totally male-dominated industry. It is male-dominated. The role of women, I think, has just become more prevalent. We're seeing women at every level of the organization, including as at Elaine Construction, Lisa Wexler, um, running the, the company as president, mm -hmm. um, and in every aspect, 
from accounting and finance um, to estimating to project management and even in the field. I'd say in the last five years, I see more and more women in the field than I've ever seen before, both from a, a supervisory role as a superintendent, but also in the trades. I'm seeing more seeing women more. in the trades. I'd love to see more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm on site a lot, and I there still are times I'm the only woman on site, mm -hmm. um, but we we do see more in the trades. Um, We'd love to see more. We would is, love to it, have some women superintendents come to Elaine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Is the is the industry doing anything to recruit more women, or is it just happening by itself? It, it is. So mm -hmm. uh, we are very active members at Elaine Construction of uh, the Associated General Contractors of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. um, I am a vice chair of their Building Women in Construction. A committee and we are the AGC Massachusetts. Right? The AGC Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are actively working uh, on outreach mm -hmm. um, to help educate and communicate to women um, what a wonderful livelihood uh, construction is. It pays better, mm -hmm. um, you know, than many other industries um, for men or women. And, you know, so we want to encourage, the doors are wide open, is mm -hmm. what we like to say. Mm -hmm. And so we know that that's not enough, so we're working to get into uh, vocational schools, um, middle schools, talk about the career um, opportunities that exist in the construction world, in the real estate world, um, from a very, very early start, mm -hmm. to destigmatize, um, you know, some of the, I guess the the negative connotations mm -hmm. that um, people might have about this. It's smart men and women making a great living, doing important world work, and shaping um, the community around them. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. it, it's a tangible thing that you can see and be proud of. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, before I let you go, I just wanted to spend a few minutes on uh, Elaine Construction. Sure. So tell us a little bit about history of Elaine and the type of projects you have worked with. Absolutely. So Elaine Construction started in 1947. Mm -hmm. So we're coming up on our 72nd year. Mm -hmm. um, it was started by Leo Wexler. That's Lisa Wexler's grandfather. Mm -hmm. um, Leo unfortunately passed um, at a very, very young age, mm -hmm. um, but in a really short time period, about just a little over a decade, he built an incredible business, um, largely on the public side of the world, mm -hmm. pulling huge buildings out of the ground. Um, they'd be in you know today's escalated dollars about four hundred million dollar projects. Mm -hmm. um, in the mid eighties, um, Ken decided that he wanted to um, leave the uh, winter conditions and the exterior uh, project. Uh, challenges behind and move indoors and that's how we got involved in uh, corporate tenant interiors. It was at that time um, that we changed the name of the company mm -hmm. from Wexler Construction to Elaine Construction, mm -hmm. both honoring Ken's mom who helped to run the company um, during the time that Ken was just off to college and mm -hmm. after Leo had passed um, and uh, because with Lisa coming into the business, um, you know, when did she come? She she. Uh, she took over as a president. When she graduated from college, she started right along in the business. Now she had worked there really since she was fourteen years old. Okay. Um, and in every um, aspect of the company, mm -hmm. she had worked in estimating in the field and, and project management, um, and kind of worked her way up through the company. Um, she'll say that that Ken is you know, both her best friend and her mentor. Mm -hmm. And they have a wonderful, wonderful working relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but she wasn't ready to come into the company um, to run it at that early stage of the game in, in those early 80s. Um, but I think that there was always an intention that she would, in fact, run the company and that they would become a certified women-owned business. And so the name change um, mm -hmm. was the first step in that process. Mm -hmm. Um, and so 
we went uh, from doing, like I said, large out of the ground construction projects mm -hmm. for um, MIT and Veterans Housing and Harvard University um, to doing corporate tenant interiors and um, and staying with the, the higher education the academic work, which mm -hmm. we have developed a real expertise, particularly in the, the research laboratory mm -hmm. world. Um, it's booming in Boston. It's booming. Yeah. It's a wonderful, wonderful um, business to be in. It's that that market sector is is incredibly interesting and challenging, um, and the projects don't have to be um, out of the ground buildings to provide really challenging and interesting work for for our employees. So um, that's uh, how we kind of progressed through the years. Um, when Lisa took over in 1997 as president, um, we started to change the profile of the company a little bit more, adding in some healthcare work, adding in this boutique fitness work, um, doing a lot more um, nonprofit work um, in service again to Elaine, who was a huge philanthropist. It's a really um, an incredible part of culture of our company mm -hmm. um, and we're all heavily involved um, in efforts for Rosie's Place and uh, the Boston House mm -hmm. and the PMC mm -hmm. um, and we're always looking to add uh, new organizations that resonate um, with our employees. So, Excellent. Yeah. Uh, now Carolina, your last word on Elaine. My last word on Elaine? Yes. Um, it's a wonderful place to work. Uh, I feel um, really privileged to be a part of such a great team and I came to Elaine because of this opportunity to work with um, a woman owning a woman-owned company and I, I really feel happy to have made that choice so we've we're, we're gonna keep doing great work and hopefully we'll get some more uh, projects like the win excellent well all the best and thank, thank you, you very much for your time thank you thank so you. much